you have f friends probably whose swings maybe don't look so good, but they hit the ball 20 yards past you, and you wonder, why is that? What am I doing wrong? Coming into impact, you have this kind of look. It's kind of a almost a uh, pushing motion. So the source of power for you is this. You remind me of uh, a beautiful automobile that uh, maybe has some engine trouble. When you look at the shape and the whole thing, the wheels and everything, it looks fine. But get down to the essence of the engine and maybe a spark plug is not firing or something. So I'd like to talk to you today about how to fire your spark plug. I've got a training aid that I'd like to see you purchase. And I sell these for three payments of $29.95 on my website. And you get a free Coke with it. I'm actually just kidding. It's just an empty bottle, plastic bottle. Take the bottle in your right hand and just swing it back a little ways. And this is the key point. Make a bend in the back of your right wrist. I'm going to call that the flying wedge. Make a bend in the back of the right wrist. Just bring it back to here. Bring it down into impact, keeping that bend, keep that angle, and swivel it through until the left, right arm is straight at this point, level to the ground. I'll do that again. Back, fold. Almost making a box with your right arm. Down, keeping the angle, swivel, and straight. I learned this exercise from a fellow named Ben Doyle, who teaches in California. If you had water in this thing, or he calls it lotion, as you bring it down, you keep the water in the bottle. Now you spill the water down here, and you capture what's left of the water here. He, he says, make the motion to spill the lotion. The bag, the flying wedge comes down. Keep maintaining your power. Here it spills. What you're doing is spilling it all the way over here. And there's no zip through your shot. That's what the right hand does in the golf swing. And you need to learn that. Now let's talk about the left hand. Take it in your left arm and hold on to your left arm above the elbow. Swing back again a little ways, not very far. This is extended, that's your radius. Bring it down and again, turn this over. But this time, this arm. Okay. You sometimes see golfers put something under their left arm. That's what it's for. It's not for the backswing, it's for coming through and staying connected. Then you can do it with two with two bottles and train what the right arm does and what the left arm does train what the right arm does and what the left arm does and learn that motion. Then hit some ball. And what you used to do is this kind of motion. You know, straighten it out later, but at the most important time, you were not in that good position. And take that club, you even hit some with one hand. Take it in the right hand, bend it back, swivel it, release it. Take it in the left hand. Keep it in here tight until it comes up afterwards. And then hit some shots with two hands, just with that little swing, learning this feeling of, what, for lack of a better word, just how to pop the ball and hit the, hit the heck out of it.